What's going on guys, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and we are back with another Peaky Blinders reaction. Today we are doing Season 2 Episode 3, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up um, and also stick around for the review, of course. You already know how we do it over here, full reactions on the Google Drive and there's another option that is available that is going to be on BitChute okay so make sure that if you cannot watch it if there's a view limit on the google drive you always have that other option of bitshoot just send if you want you can send me a message because sometimes i don't upload it to bitshoot if we are not having that problem but if there's that problem then i will make it available on bitshoot for some of the for some of the stuff on the channel that i already do i automatically upload it to bitshoot but for these because um i'm getting probably around 200 views on on this one um, Peaky Blinders and stuff but it happens over time so it's like um, when it comes on to these series that are not it, they're not extraordinary on on the channel per se you know it's just I'm doing this for basically like a hundred two hundred of y'all so it's no problem the Google Drive won't give any problems for these but if but if it does go over that limit you guys can always send me a message on this video comment on this video said I can't view it on Google um, on the Google Drive and I will upload it to BitChute and you will be able to see it so um, last episode um, um, Arthur ended up killing someone a little kid so he's out of control right and I'm um, sorry about that but yeah he's out of control and he needs to get himself under control so Tommy had to go talk to him and stuff um he ended up that they had to give him co cocaine <laughs> his his uh, other brother I think is um not John the other one I don't remember his name the youngest one um ended up giving him cocaine said oh this you know, calms us down, whatever. He was hyper as hell for the for the reopening of the bar. Um, I don't think that's gonna make him better. I think it's gonna make him worse. Okay, cause he's a he's a he's he's a dog right now. Loose. He's a loose dog, and the cocaine is just gonna make him worse. Right? He's 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 not handling his PTSD very well. You know what I'm saying? And you can't put him down. So. And they can't lock him up. So I don't know what's the situation, how that is going to go. Tommy making moves, um, got his ass beat up. Then he had to have a conversation with the, with, um, with the newly um, inspector. The inspector, inspector Campbell, he's not new. We all know that. Um, the situation, Grace is still right in Tommy, um, but he's not looking at the letters or anything. I, I really do believe he was in love with her. She's obviously in love with, still in love with him. Um, but Grace, um, she's married to some dude now. So I don't know if they're going to bring her back anytime soon. Or they might bring her back in later seasons. What is going on right now? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think it's because I just ate. But... In any case, guys, um, this series is mounting up to be very good for this season. Um, I love that it's short, it's shorter seasons, but the but the the story moves along great. The pacing is awesome in the show, and I like it. Um, so we, what else? Polly, his son, er, her son coming home after Tommy was really trying to avoid. She pulled a gun on Tommy, and Tommy still refused to give her what she wants which she wants to know where he is so she can go get him but she's just gonna cause a scene she's a hot mess right now because of it so she comes home her, her son is there waiting on her uh but at first she didn't know it was his son it's like what what do you want with this person because she he asks for um her personally um so and then he took up the keys that she because she dropped her keys when she realized, oh, shit, this is my son. Um, so he picked it up, opened the door for her. And that's how the episode ended. Um, so but the most dopest thing that happened into the last episode was the, the letter that Tommy sent to um, to Churchill. 
right? And it's just the contrast that they're they're just going to use Tommy until they, you know, they until they don't have any more use for him, then they're going to lock him up, kill him, whatever the situation is. But they're basically using Tommy as a spy right now, as in for country, whatever the situation is. So they'll excuse whatever behavior he's, whatever gang activity is going on with um, just to get what they want from him. And then, you know, as they said to, to Campbell, then we'll deal with him. Okay, so... Yeah, so as you guys know, go ahead, watch the reaction, go ahead and click on that link in the description now, and I'll see you back here for the review. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, man. Let's go watch that episode. Alright, so here we go again, episode 3, man. It was great. Um, just the talking points that I want to talk about the relationship development between Polly and her son. Very, very good. Very good development from start to till finish of this episode from, um, the situation in the, in the home, them wanting to kind of learn about each other, having so many questions about each other. Of course, him letting Tommy know, listen, I am my own man okay i make my own decisions nobody's gonna tell me what to do when to do it how to do it i am my own person and i'm happy for him but at the same but at the same time like he does owe is what are you gonna call her foster mom adopted mom um an explanation as to why he's leaving i think he, he should call her and let her know that hey I'm going to turn 18 in a couple of weeks. I'm going to leave anyway. So you might as well just let me stay. So um, the situation that's, that's going on, him not, um, Polly not wanting him to join the gang activity is totally understandable because she knows what those, what they're involved in. She knows how rowdy they can get. She knows there's always trouble. And, and, and then the, the, um, the hit, that's out on Tommy, them killing the, 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 the innocent kid in jail that's never been in jail, never been in trouble. He was a fall guy to meet the, the coppers' quotas that they have to meet. So there's always somebody that has to get arrested um, for doing nothing. So they, you know, spend a couple of weeks in jail. They let him go, whatever the situation is. Um, so that's, it's, it's interesting that he got killed because Sabini is out for blood. He's trying to get rid of Tommy because Tommy and Solomon's is moving in on their territory, trying to run them out of business. The Jews has been losing all this time, um, but now they've joined first forces with, with, with the Peaky Blinders, so they have a bit more strength. So now they can kind of shut Sabini down, but they're being strategic about it, which is really cool. Um, they're not killing Sabini's men other than at the end there at the end of the episode when they actually came after Tommy um Sabini's a very interesting character he's very irrational very paranoid character which makes for him a very bad um a, a very good bad guy right in the in the series so far um Major Campbell you know, his situation, the police thinks he's a joke, of course, because he got shot in the foot by a woman. He fell for the very woman that refused him, and he's now on a vengeful path. Um, he can't take out Tommy, of course, because of Tommy now having a quote-unquote relationship with Churchill. So he can't just take Tommy out. He can't command him to really do anything. You know what I'm saying? So he's just, in a sense, he's just one big joke. To everybody, you know, and he's acting out. So I'm curious to see what his situation is going to be. Maybe um, a couple, you know, a couple seasons down the line where he's going to stand. Because if he's going to be the ultimate guy that, he, that they're trying to keep relevant in the series to do certain things, then it's yet to be seen. Right now, he doesn't really have any stance. He's just there as that, as that rival to Tommy on 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 the copper side that wants to see Tommy not succeed um but at the same time he's trying to use Tommy to get what he needs to get done still don't know what his actual motive is or what he's trying to do I really don't know 
you know what I'm saying? At this point and at this time, he's, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to figure out what it, what his motive is and what his mission is right now. Because his, basically everything he was trying to do was shut down in the, in the last episode, right? In episode two. So I don't know what he's, he's just sitting there waiting to get what he wants. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I don't know what he's, what is going on with, um, but as I said, the situation with them trying to get this horse, I think um, Curly was having a bad feeling about the vibe that was around. Maybe it wasn't about the lady that tried to buy, to, to, that was betting on the horse, um, that was, I mean, auctioning, um, was trying to get the horse too. Maybe it's not about her, but maybe he was having a bad feeling about the attack that happened there at the end. And I mean... Oh my God, kid could have got shot right there. You know what I'm saying? So it would have been sad if he died, if he got shot and it was the first time out with him. Polly would have been mad. She would have been sad. She, she, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe if I was writing the story, I would have wrote that in. I would have let the kid die in that situation. You know what I'm saying? It would have been sad, but it would have been one hell of a thing for the audience that's watching. It would have killed me. Because I would have been like, man, I was rooting for this kid. You know what I'm saying? But now he, he come out of that situation. He was kind of forced to lie to his mom that everything went okay. But at the same time, we all understand why he had to lie. Because if he said to Tommy, if he said to his mom, hey, things got out of hand, shots were fired, all of this stuff happened. There is no way he would have ever got to go out with them again. You know, Polly would have told Tommy, no. And in turn, Tommy would have respected her decision to not let him come ever again. So we all understand why he had to lie. You know what I mean? So it's just the, the things that are, that happened in this episode, really, it, it, it really goes to show you that this show is, is a top tier show. No doubt about it. Top tier writing, pacing, everything went well in this episode. And that's why I kind of like the idea of shows being one hour. Even if, even if, even if, you know what I'm saying? I, I can con compare this to a lot of shows that I watch that is on just um, ne network TV, like, you know, your NBC, your ABC, your CBS channels like those, where you only get like 40 minutes of footage, right? Because the rest, the other 20 minutes has to be commercial, right? They have to have ads. It's a huge difference in story development. Huge difference. That 20 minutes, it's a huge difference. Because you get so much more to work with. Even though you got to wait longer, seasons are shorter. Because in turn, seasons are shorter because you have more time for episodes, right? But... It's just so awesome how they develop the stories, man. There's time and time again you see the development and you get so much more out of one episode. You get time to flesh out characters a lot more in certain episodes. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate watching these one-hour shows um, rather than having a 40-minute show, right? So thank you guys for watching as always, man. This episode was awesome. There was no mention of Grace, but you already know that. She's one of my favorite characters, so I'm waiting to see what they have to say about her. Um, but I don't know if, you know, Tommy burning the letter, if that they're saying to us, the audience, that that relationship is over. Stop expecting it. But I'm still expecting it. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm looking forward to the next episode, of course. Hopefully, I can get that out on Wednesdays. There's usually some discrepancies that happen in the middle of the week for me. Um... But I'm going to try my best to start to start doing these things on time. Certain things happen. Emergencies happen. I had to to um, I had to go somewhere and I had to leave immediately. I know you guys saw um, the announcement on the community tab. And also I, I also told the guys on the discord um, that of what happened and why this episode is going to be late it's going to come out on friday and i'm also going to start season two the walking dead today also i have not forget about it i think it, it's been like a month since i did it but it's always something happening when i'm supposed to do it um so i'm going to try to get back into the walking Dead. i have not forgotten about it 
so thank you guys for listening as always man you guys have been great for all those those who are supporting these peaky blinders um episodes man i really appreciate it make sure you leave a comment and a like on this video highly appreciate it it helps the channel to grow helps it to get out there to more peaky blinder fans so hey guys can smack that like button that would be nice okay so thank you guys for listening as always it's your boy terabyte reacts and peace